Don't miss the latest terrain for games of Warhammer 40k and of course Necromunda. Spiky bits. What's up Hobby Maniacs? Rob Bear with you again this holiday weekend. Hope everybody had a good one out there. Today we are checking out the newest terrain for Warhammer 40k and of course Necromunda. There are rules in the Gang Wars book on how you can play with the three-dimensional terrain. So you're not restricted to that board game kind of uh, flat 2D kind of type thing that came with the Necromunda box set. You can't play on this type of stuff here. And of course, all of the Sector Mechanicus uh, terrain in and of itself. Now, this Prometheum Refinery is a $115 kit. It's very similar to what you got in the Armageddon Shadow War box, but it has a few more components uh, kind of switched around some more of these kind of octagonal uh, gantry type things and not the long stretchy gantries. Then of course the thermic plasma conduits and the regulators are brand new terrain for the game and they actually have rules, new rules for 8th edition 40k in them as well. So like I said, the new Promethean refinery is just basically a rebox of the stuff we saw earlier in the year around April, but it's going to consist of two sets of platforms, Two sets of walkways. Here, let's lay this all out. Two sets of walkways. It's basically a lot of two furs here. Two sets of platforms, two sets of walkways, two support structures, and this right here. So you got your dome pieces and your uh, phallic <laughs> type building structures. Let's grab the instructions and show you those real quick because this will be quite easy. Now this is the, the bigger, chunkier, bulkier terrain or plastic kits that are made. I think they are made and distributed by GW. So these are actually coming out of the UK itself and not that China uh, hard plastic that we've seen for some of the other terrain. Now this right here, like I said, let's put it down. If you want to look at the individual sprues and such, you can check out our Shadow War Armageddon coverage from, like I said, back around April time. But here's how they want you to put it together. And I like how you can go vertical with it or you can kind of stretch it out. Now the dome pieces go together pretty easily. Then the tank pieces, all this stuff's uh, super easy to get together. Then remember there's these little under braces with the little uh, kind of peg in slot system to lock everything into place. So you've got, you've got your landing pad type octagon and then you've got your outer ring type octagon right there. And then all the tanks and things can hook into it. And then you can go vertical with your support structures right there and add in some ladders and such and all of the little wire and tubing. And you can make it so that it will uh, be a little modular, but over time I feel like that the plastic itself will probably give under the stress of doing that. So I wouldn't advise it. I would probably say just dry fit it and then glue it down and you're good to go. Next up is the thermo Thermic Plasma Regulator. See that? 10 times fast. This is a two sprue kit for $25 US and it does come with the rules for 8th edition that we'll show you here in a sec. Now, this is of course Sector Mechanicus, so it's all modular. It's designed to work together with the other kits. So they're kind of like add on more detailed kits. Here you can see where the little uh, octagon kind of type is that an octagon? No, one, two, three, yeah, that's an octagon. So that is gonna be able to lock in to those other little plates or those little clasps that I showed you. And you'll be able to stick these around either at the end of the gantries or on the edges of some of those half octagons or hemi-octagons, I don't even know. I'm not a wordologist. I barely passed geometry. That's probably not a good thing for me to say, but uh, <laughs> but I did, and uh, and here we are now, unboxing, <laughs> unboxing the Warhams. But looks like fantastic detail. Now this is I'm not sure what these stress points are right here. This is very weird. Oh, it's like a powder. What the heck? <laughs> That's awkward. Okay, sure. I don't know what that is, but I'm gonna wash my my hands afterwards. Now. These are made in China, but distributed by Games Workshop out of Nottingham. So this is your thicker Chinese plastic. 
that's going to come with there. But I mean, it, for the most part, it's got better detail than what we've seen in the past. Traditionally, you know, you've got uh, vent slits here. You've got some kind of reverse rivets. This detail work right here that we saw from some of the Forge World stuff looks looks very crisp. Some of the skulls, the venting, it's not as crisp as you would expect from a multi-part kit. Like some of these wiring's a little dull. These uh, kind of indentations in this wiring over here is a little dull. But other than that, I mean, it's really not that noticeable for stuff that you're gonna use for terrain, I feel like. So overall, I think it's a neat little kit and you get two sets of them. So it's a nice little accessory for your tabletop and then of course you've got these rules there's how they go together left to right and then you put the little um uh, gantry piece right there so they do set on their own or you can lock them in to a system or they can go together and form uh, the little archway right there and then of course there are the rules um so only things with fly vehicle monster cavalry and bikes can be set up and end their moves on the ground floor so underneath there um, unless they can fly, infantry and beasts must scale ladders, girders, or walls to move between the structures. They are assumed to be able to tra uh, traverse around grinders, buttresses, hanging chains, and so move through them without impedance. Infantry units that are on a structure receive the benefit of cover. Other units only receive cover if at least 50% of every model is obscured from the point of view of the shooting unit. So... Follow all the rules for sector mechanic structures with the following addition. Roll a d6 each time you make a saving throw of 7 plus. For each model within 3, on a roll of 1, that model's unit suffers a mortal wound. So if you get a really good cover save because of bonuses, well, that may affect you negatively. I don't know. <laughs> Seems like a big drawback. I'm not sure how I feel about that one there. But them's the rules for this terrain. And what may be the younger, slightly more unstable cousin of the Prometheum pipeline is the new thermic plasma conduits that come with some extra bits, these little uh, plasma cartridges, we'll say, that can be carried, I guess, by uh, infantry models or something like that. They actually lock in, and I'll show you on that. They definitely remind me of the spore drive from uh, Star Trek Discovery if you're watching that one there. Now it's going to come with two of each sprue in this set. So a little bit more sc sprue count, but as far as actual kind of pieces, it's about the same, you know, for size and everything, um, comparing it to the thermic plasma regulators. And then here's those uh, exhaust ports, we'll call them, <laughs> that you can put the little plasma recharge canisters into and they actually lock in there. They have a little nub on the end and it looks like they lock right in. Again, this is the uh, terrain that is made in China and distributed by Games Workshop out of the UK. Uh, detail wise, you know, it's gonna be a little bit duller not, but not duller to the point where it's not represented on the box, like kind of some people brought up for that first round of uh, Sector Mechanicus bases they came out with about a year or so ago. But overall, they've been improving their quality, which we definitely give them kudos for. Uh, but you can see in here, you got you you know you got some really tight rivets right here that are pretty crisp, some decent detail in this electric coiling, some rivets or some hex bolts rather and lots of good detail work in here with little wiring and the skulls and things and the big conduit sections right there. Over here, I kind of like how they do with these little um, kind of, we'll call them uh, like half a O-ring or like a mounting bracket for the pipeline itself so you can kind of stretch it out. And then they got like a, what, what appears to be like a little control panel right there that seems to kind of uh, have something to do with this. So once you put all of these together and kind of lay them out into the different shapes, you'll get something that could resemble that, but most easily will resemble a bunch of self-contained little sections right here that you can just kind of plop about uh, the tabletop and just kind of do their thing. I'm looking at this section here. Of course, you could, it appears like you could glue them together if you wanted to. Now, sometimes people on the, on the channel here are like, hey, that, that's cool, but it'd be really, uh, a lot neater if you could, you know, put them together and then, you know, paint them or, you know, show us how they look assembled. I mean, you're talking to properly assemble, to trim and assemble miniatures. I'm not going to show something off that, that isn't in a good light 
and in order to do that you're talking hours worth of work for a kit then unfortunately you know for a 10 to 15 minute video really kind of isn't worth the the time unfortunately for us so unfortunately we will not be able to get that together for you because we put out with the volume of uh, release uh, videos we put out on here it's a little tough to do that so here is the instructions on how to put them together and lo and behold there's some left right pieces right there and some left right pieces throughout you don't have to glue on these plasma cartridges things right here which will attach and kind of lock in as far as rules go here they are very similar to what we saw before except for specific to the thermic plasma conduits whenever a model targets an infantry unit that has all its models within one inch of one of these the target receives the benefit of cover if the attacking model is closer to the thermic conduit than to its target in addition enemy units can fight across the plasma conduit even though the physical distance is more than one inch uh, when resolving fights between units on opposite sides of the conduit units can be chosen to fight and can make their attacks if the enemy is within two inches instead of the normal one pretty cool and then there is the opportunity for these to explode if you make a saving throw a seven plus on one the model's unit may suffer a mortal wound so a little bit of give a little bit of drawback right there me personally i would just use these as just stuff laying around but rules is written always check with your tournament organizers before you start your games if you're playing you know competitively if not talk to your opponent about it ahead of time and then that way you will know for sure what ground you are on so there it is your new terrain lineup for the holiday season containing the two new kits and the one reboxing now if you like these video features here on the channel make sure you click on the little bell icon in the bottom right to subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so of course you can be the very first to like and comment on our videos and to see some warhammer 40k in action head on over to the longwar.net that's the home of the battle reports for exclusive content early access videos and more become a veteran of the long war today